what is up YouTube? This is Josh with Gulf Coast Fishing 850. And today we are going to be talking about fishing from the pier and catching king mackerel. So king mackerel is one of my favorite fishing to do. I recently started um, pier fishing really heavy, probably about three years ago. And I caught my first king mackerel last year. Caught one this year recently, but unfortunately I left my GoPro at the house. So I could not get the uh, catch on film, but uh, let's get started on this video. We're gonna start by, you need to get you a nice King slash Kobe rod. Has nice guys on it. This one right here is a seven foot rod. And this one right here is an eight foot rod. And uh, you can use seven to nine foot is what I like to use. Um, this one right here has a lot of play in it. If you uh, can tell, a lot of whip. That's for slinging them baits out there, making sure those baits can get out far enough um, where you can get past the remore. They like to come, the remore like to swim close to the pier. So sometimes you like to try to get out uh, far away from those remore, but if you can't um, get far away from them, it's all right too. But I hate those things because they will eat your bait up. But this has a lot of whip to get your bait out. This one is a more stout rod. Um, it doesn't have much of whip in it. Um, this is also a Outcast custom rod. Um, and I love fishing with this rod too. Um, for sure, you know, but that one you can manhandle and jack up those uh, big king mackerel. Um, this one right here has a spin fisher 6500 on it. And this one right here has a pin slammer 560. This is an older slammer. This isn't a new slammer, so. I bought it brand new actually, but it, I mean, it, it does the job. I caught my last King Macro on it. So I got 40 pound braid on here, seven strand steel leader on a size four treble hook and the barrel swivel. Um, and that gear gets the job done. I, I recently learned that from a guy uh, named Debo from Pure Junkies. Y'all go check his uh, Facebook page out, it's Pure Junkies. Um, and he always taught me to do a figure eight knot and I'll show y'all guys how to tie that with the uh, steel leader instead of doing the twist on the steel leader. Also guys, I like to use the saltwater X wrap long cast lures um, just in case you know you can't get no bait or they're not falling for your dead cigar minnow or whatever you have on there. These work good. I've seen King Sky on these and I mean, they catch really big king mackerel off of these egg straps. And it's the same, you know, barrel swivel and you know, tie it with the figure eight. You also want to make sure that you always bring some sabiki rigs because it's a ton of bait on the water. And sometimes they will not bite your, you know, frozen bait if you got frozen bait. And nothing's better than live bait. So if you can catch your bait, I mean, you don't even have to buy bait. Most of the time you go to the pier. You bring you an extra fishing rod for a sabiki, put your two ounce weight on it, throw it out, jig it a couple of times, you'll come up and I mean, you catch bait, live bait fresh, and that's what they're feeding on mostly. Um, it's that fresh bait around the pier and they will nail it just about 100% of the time if they're there. Um, make sure you guys get you a pier cart too. It makes it 100% easier to carry all, carry all your gear. I have my pier cart right here in the back of my truck. Um, I have my cast net in case I want to try to throw on some bait. Um, so that's the best thing to do, man. Get you a pier cart. This is the extra large pier, extra large pier cart. Has a um, measuring scale on it. I also take this surf fishing when I go out surf fishing. It has eight rod holders. So pier cart is where it's at. Slash beach cart. If you want to use for beach, you can also convert the tires to the balloon tires. That way, if you do any surf fishing. You can use your balloons, tires, and it pulls in the sand great. All right, guys, this is how you want to tie your King Macro rig. So you want to go through the treble. And you pinch it basically like this. Take this line and wrap it around your main line. And then go back through the first loop you pinch. And see how it makes it eight? Call that a figure eight, and you pull it. And I always have some uh, some lime pliers with me, but I don't have them, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna get it tight. 
pull it tight, 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 like so. And that's how you have your figure eight knot right there. And you take your, your snips and you cut it. And that's how you tie that figure eight so I can get it to focus in. You got that there. You take your barrel swivel and do the same thing. Quick and easy. And this isn't seven strand wire. I don't have any more seven strands, so this is a little thicker. That seven strand would tie easier. But you want to pinch it like so. Go around that main line and circle back underneath. So you get that eight looking shape. Right. Pull it tight. Grab these again. Tight, 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 tight. And then you look at it again, see that? Zoom in. Focus. There you go. Focus, focus. But you guys know it has that eight right there. Take these. Clip. Bam. And when that key macro pull, that's that's gonna actually get tighter. So like when you put tension on it. It's going to actually get tighter. It ain't coming loose. So this is your whole. You got your treble hook. Size 4. 7 strand steel leader. All the way down. To your barrel swivel. With the same tie. And you want it to be about 24 inches. So 2 foot. And that's it guys. That's exactly how you make it. Quick and easy. And you don't have to buy none from the bait shop. And you can make your own cleaning. Size four hook, 24 pack, it's like three bucks. Or 25 pack, I'm sorry. And I have plenty in here, so. And what I've learned guys, you know, fishing on the pier is definitely not easy. You have tons of people, you know, lined up on the pier. You have tons of fishing lines. You know, when you're fishing on the pier, um, that King Macro is gonna swim back and forth, you know. Just make sure you be loud. Tell somebody you're coming down, you need to go over or under them. Um, most of the time they'll get out of the way. Some, you got some people that's on the pier that's not gonna move and get in your way and get you tangled up, but you know, that's a part of pier fishing. You know, if you're gonna go out there and not expect that to happen, then you don't need to be doing it. Um, also, I've learned you're gonna have dolphins chasing those king mackerel, just about, sharks and dolphins, just about every time I've been out there, I've seen them. Flip that bell and let that king mackerel run. Make sure you have, you know, four to 500 yards in line on your reel. Make sure you get a reel that can hold that much because that king mackerel is gonna to have to run. And if you wanna land that mackerel, you need to let him run and try to outrun that dolphin or that shark. Also, whenever they're coming into the pier and you have them hooked, sometimes if they will go underneath the pier, they can feel that tension on your line, flip that bell again and just let them take off. Uh, I've learned that whenever you flip the bell, if they're just tension on the line and they're kind of going underneath the pier, when that tension release, they take back off into the gut or, you know, whatever part of the waters that you're fishing in for King Mackerel. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, it takes practice. I'm not perfect at it. Like I said, I've been fishing and catching them for about two years. So it's fun experience. You know, you catch Spanish Mackerel, you catch Bonita, you catch Hardtail. I mean just about whatever blue fish you know so it's all fun it's multiple species you can put big chunks of bait crabs catch black drum red fish where i'm at so pier fishing is a variety you catch pompano you know we've caught sheep head so pier fishing um in my part you know of florida is spectacular you catch just varieties of fish so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys want more things from me of how to fish or tutorials on what I like to fish and how I like to fish and how I like to tie my knots and what gear I use, just let me know, guys. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to my channel. Um, if you like this video and leave comments, guys. Uh, I just need ideas, more ideas and what you guys like and I'll make the video. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next time.